In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the GORUCK GR1. This is the little brother of the GR2, one which I carried with me for a nearly two year trip around the world. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, and we love helping people optimize their travel experience with reviews and guides, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. We've also reviewed a ton of other GORUCK products, so be sure to check that out. We'll link up the playlist in the YouTube card and in the description below. If you're on our website, you can just search GORUCK and all that stuff will come right up. Let's jump right into the GR1, the simple, highly durable, epic, warranty covered, expensive pack. Let's get into it. The GR1 colorways frequently update. However, they always have the black version and that's what we've opted to grab here. There's been a ton of other colorways that they've produced, uh, a lot of grays, greens, a lot of different blends of camouflage as well. So be on the lookout for those. Those change you know, every couple months on the GORUCK site. However, the constant is black and that's what we have here. This pack offers a subtle, tactical look that's reinforced by the three rows of molly here. So it has that tactical look, however, it still feels streamlined and considered. So you don't have rows of molly and a bunch of straps hanging off this thing. It still maintains that simplistic, minimalist look while offering a lot of functionality that molly provides. Of course, aesthetics are always in the eyes of the beholder. That's why we like to poll our Instagram audience to see what they think of the visual of the pack. If you'd like to get involved in future polls, be sure to head over to at packhacker on Instagram and participate. We'd certainly appreciate it. We'd love to add your vote into these polls. You won't find any branding on this pack. However, you have a three by two Velcroable area here that you can use to express yourself depending on the patch of your choosing. Of course, we've got the pack hacker one going on. One thing to note here is that when no patches in the pack are present, there is a small rectangular cut and this is to represent the American flag. GORUCK is known for using solid, durable materials in all of their packs. So on the outside here, we have a 1000D Cordura nylon across the entirety of the pack, as well as durable, large YKK zippers on every zipper of this pack. The zippers aren't AquaGuard, so arguably there could be a little bit more moisture resistance there. However, they are reverse coil, which will help keep out dirt and grime, which is especially important if you're doing one of their rucking events. They've also opted for national molding in their plastic hardware, which we're gonna see on these strap adjusters once we get into the harness system. On the exterior of this pack, let's start off with the top handle. And although it looks a little bit thin, there's actually just the right amount of dense padding here to create a comfortable grab. Now onto the molly. On the bottom of the pack, there is three rows of six loops of molly here. And on the sides, we have three rows of two loops on each side. This is great for any molly based accessories that you want to attach to the outside of this pack, offering some great customization. GORUCK offers a ton of options on their site from hip belts to water bottle pockets to additional exterior pouches. There's definitely a lot to choose from and the beauty of Molly as a system is that it's extendable. So most Molly based accessories will work with this pack, not exclusive to the GORUCK brand. Other than those couple features, the exterior of the pack is pretty minimal and streamlined. So let's move right in to the harness system. Starting with the straps, they are super reinforced and beefy. They do take a little bit while to break in. So I would say a couple weeks of solid use before these start to feel natural on you and break in. We have heard of some reports of these thicker straps kind of rubbing against t-shirts, creating some pilling and rips. However, we've never ran into that issue in two years of testing with the GR2, which is heavier and still the same amount of abrasion on these straps. And with this harness system, there's just something about putting on a GORUCK bag that just feels different than a lot of other packs. I don't know, for me personally, it's just because I've used it for that two years, basically on the road perpetually, and it just kind of felt special, it kind of felt like my home, but it definitely offers a unique and different feel compared to, say, thinner, densely padded EVA foam straps or other flimsier backpack straps. This is definitely unique to GORUCK here. Also on the straps, there is an additional row of molly, which is good for attaching any additional accessories you want. You could definitely throw a sternum strap here as well, which is what we've done for the GR2 to help with the carry a little bit. 
You won't find a hip bell in this pack, however, there's an option to attach one on the sides if you'd like to do that. Keep in mind the 26 liter version, which is what we have here, sits two inches lower than the 21 liter version. So if you really want a hip belt, you might wanna consider the larger version since it sits a little bit lower, especially if your torso is a tad longer. That hip belt will definitely just fit you better overall. On the top, you won't find any load lifters. You'll just find some really reinforced stitching here where the strap attaches to the rest of the pack. Lastly, the back panel doesn't have any mesh, just that 1000 D Cordura split into nine sections. So you're definitely gonna have to embrace the sweaty back with this one as they don't offer any mesh. However, the way that these are split up, it helps with airflow a tiny bit, but mostly it's there for the flexibility of the back padding of this pack. Moving on to the inside of the pack, let's start with that reinforced laptop compartment inside of the bag. There's a half zipper compartment that allows you to slip your laptop inside, and that is going to have a false bottom. So the laptop doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the pack. If you drop your pack on the bottom, it's gonna protect it a little bit from that impact. So great thinking on the design of the laptop compartment here. The frame sheet is somewhat flexible and also offers a pretty good amount of support. However, if you want more, we'd recommend doing the Kydex mod. And what that is, is it's basically a thicker frame sheet that you can put into here. You can buy a sheet of Kydex on your own on Amazon and cut it up, or you can head over to Ruck Customs and they make custom sized frame sheets for all the different GoRuck pack sizes. We thought it was a lot better with the stiffer Kydex frame sheet. However, it's totally your preference. If it's feeling a little flimsy for you, maybe go with that upgrade hover without it. Still not too bad. And although this is a laptop compartment, it's also optimized for GoRuck's Ruck plates. So if you are gonna participate in any of their events, this pocket is optimized for those plates. On the front of the pack, we've got a slash pocket that basically goes down the entirety of the front side of the pack. This is good for smaller, flatter items. However, if the main leader area of your pack is completely full, it can be a little bit harder to utilize this pocket. It's not a super great quick grab pocket either because it does go down basically the entire front of the pack. So it's good for smaller, flatter, longer items. Smaller items may just go to the bottom and may be a little bit hard to fish out depending on how full the main interior of your pack is. We'd personally prefer this pocket to be a little bit more shallow and function as a quick grab pocket. However, your mileage may vary. And then moving on to the main compartment, this is a good opportunity to bring up the GORUCK silent zipper pulls. And basically it's heat shrank paracord, but you don't get any of that jangling metal that you get with zippers on other packs. So we see that as a huge bonus. Plus it's gonna be nice to grab, keep a low profile and just have some added durability across the entirety of all the zippers of this pack. Moving on to that main compartment, it basically opens up to a giant bucket here. So there's a lot of space to put pouches or additional organization systems. You can kind of customize it as you see fit. There are three rows of six molly loops on the interior. And it's important to note here that on the side loops of the molly on the interior, they're a little bit shorter to account for the smaller space when compared to the molly on the exterior of the pack. Plus you've got a two thirds stretch pocket on the inside, which is gonna be good for flatter, longer items. Again, maybe a ruck plate if you're rucking or a second laptop if you're just a badass programmer that can't live with just one. This flat pocket below can also be used as a water bladder and there is a Velcroable pocket that you can thread the hose through on the top. Now it's important to note that there's really no toggle at the top, there's no D-ring, there's no Velcroable hook for that hose of your water bladder, however, since it is lined with molly at the top here, you can rig up a system with a carabiner or something else. That's the beauty of molly. It's highly customizable and you can do whatever you see fit with it based on your carrying needs. Moving to the zippable pockets on the top flap here, there is about a third pocket here that's gonna be lined with that 1000D Cordura. This is where we're gonna see that GORUCK branding just right here on the inside. So you know, you know you have a GORUCK. Nobody else does unless they recognize it. It's a bit of like a secret club thing. It's like, oh, GORUCK. Like whenever I see somebody with a GORUCK bag, I like mention it to them on the street. I'm like, hey, love your GR1, love your bullet, love your GR2. We have a nice little fun conversation. So definitely a huge community surrounding this brand. And anybody that has one of these bags is likely to be passionate about it. Pro tip for you, good conversation starter. And below that pocket, there is a two thirds mesh pocket here. Nice that it's mesh so you can see inside and see what's going on inside of that pocket. These are slightly gusseted on the side, so you do have a little bit of give in the space, 
However, these are ideal for flatter items and there's not a ton of stretch if you wanna fit bulkier items inside of here. Overall, GORUCK packs are optimized for people that like pouches or customizing the interior of their bags for themselves. If you want some inspiration on how to do that, be sure to go check out a couple of Facebook groups. There's the Perfect Pack on Facebook and then Carryology Classified is another good example. A lot of GORUCK loadouts there, a lot of inspiration. At the time of this review, we've been testing the GORUCK GR1 for about a week. However, we've been testing the GR2 for nearly two years of perpetual travel. We feel that it will follow in the GR2's footsteps. Besides a couple loose threads on the pack and some fading to the black color, it's held up really well overall. Also, if it doesn't hold up, GORUCK offers an epic warranty and repair service that actually works. It's called GORUCK Scars. As long as you don't purposefully destroy your bag, like light it on fire or run it over with a massive dump truck, GORUCK will basically repair anything they make with little to no questions asked. All of this quality, durability, and support comes at a steep price though. The GR1 comes in right under 400 bucks at the time of this review. We rarely bring up prices in our reviews since we'll always pay for quality. However, with the recent price jump in GORUCK products, we decided to bring it up here. If you just want to use a bag for a year or two before switching it out due to aesthetic reasons or just wanting a new pack, it might not be the best pack to choose due to the price. However, if you want a pack that will basically last you a lifetime and it will hold up and just be repaired if anything goes wrong with it, this could be an excellent choice for you as the quality is definitely there with GORUCK products. So let's wrap this thing up with some pros and cons. It is a highly durable pack with an amazing warranty. The minimal look is paired with some really functional features. It's customizable and extendable so you can use the pack however you see fit. For some of the cons, the higher price may not be justifiable for all. The harness system has a break-in period where it feels a little bit stiffer than other packs on the market. Lastly, it's quite heavy compared to other similarly sized packs. Overall, the GR1 is a solid, tactical, tanky pack that will pretty much hold up to anything you throw at it. It doesn't have a ton of bells and whistles going on and the design is pretty standard, but that's the beauty of it. It's a solid pack backed by a great brand that will stay by your side for years to come. Thanks for taking a look at our review on the GORUCK GR1. Be sure to head over to packhacker.com newsletter, sign up for that newsletter and never miss an update. Thanks for checking this out. We'll see you in the next video. Across the world, around the world. Straighten that up there.